another video with Arduino. Today we're going to be combining our previous skills of using the servo motor and the buzzer. So this is going to be fairly sim similar to the LED light and um, stay tuned because in future videos we are going to be upscaling and doing an even more complex project with the servo motor. So um, but first let's start off with the basics with the buzzer we, i know we reviewed reviewed it already but let's create a project with both the servo motor and the buzzer so let's hop right in so the first thing we need to start off with is um pairing the servo motor to the actual arduino board so the first thing we have to do is make these connections what you can do is look at the previous video or um, i'll show it in the wiring diagram so take a good look and then i'll show it in the wiring diagram so just like the LED wire, we're going to do the same thing for the buzzer. So let's align it on the positive. Remember to take our resistor. And one thing with the resistor is the higher the resistance, the, the more quiet it's going to beep, um, less resistance, um, there's going to be a greater sound. If you look at that, and then so we're just going to connect it from here. back over here and then let's put our buzzer in let's take our buzzer remember negative side goes in in alignment with the with the resistor and then we plug this in to four so um this is just a quick Look at this, um, we're also, I'm also gonna display the wiring diagram, so let's hop on the computer. All right, so um, now let's look at the Arduino. This is very similar setup and code to last time. I mean, essentially it's pretty much the same idea, just with different mechanics and applied to the buzzer. So you see, we have a similar setup. We have the Arduino connected to the servo motor and the buzzer. If you wanna refresh on that, you can visit the last video, but essentially all it is is we're attaching the ground and we're attaching the ground to the negative side and the positive side to the pin we want the connection to be to so that um, we can initialize it um, in the code. So we have int connected to pin four, and then we also have the servo motor connected to the ground 5v9, etc., like we reviewed last video. So now um, let's see, instead of implementing the LED, let's see how the buzzer changes our code. So we have our buzzer, it's connected to pin four, which we can clearly see right here, it's connected to pin four. And so what we're gonna do is basically just sound it um, once a certain condition is reached, and then we can modify that um, sound depending on certain conditions. So we see here, um, this was replaced with um, these series of if statements um, replacing the an if statement that um, allowed the the light to turn on if a certain um, um, angle was reached. So here we have our if position is greater than or equal to zero. Then we have the buzzer at tone 100. This is very important. We went over that in the piezo buzzer video with the um, holiday Christmas special. And we actually might do one um, maybe at the end of this video. But What's happening here is that this is uh, at tone 100, so the buzzer will sound at tone 100 um, if the position is greater than 0, but then if it's greater than 80, it's at 150, and then if it's greater than, if the pos position is greater than 150, we're going to sound at 200. So we're increasing the frequency, and therefore it's going to produce a different sound when it's at a different position. So this is all at 180, meaning that 180 degrees is just a straight line so it's going to go from this area to this area just like like a straight line and so essentially it's going to have a different tone every single time it moves to a different position same thing applies here if it's going backwards then we're going to implement the same thing saying that if the position is greater than 150, so it, when it's going back down this way, it would be greater than 150, great, um, greater than 80, and it'll change along the way. So it's just going to go, it's basically following this same path. But this way, um, for the buzzer, it's just um, producing a different sound um, for a different conditional um, 
which which is a little bit more complex compared to the LED light, where if one certain condition is met, then the LED light will shine. So let's take a quick look at this. Lower my volume. And you can see the numbers here. You see, so now it's reached greater than 80, reached greater than 150, the numbers. So now it's going back down, 100, 150, 80, now it's going back down all the way to zero, coming back up. Now it's going to be greater than eight, zero, greater than 80, greater than 150. Now it's coming back down. So essentially all it's doing is it's going back and forth, producing different tones. Um, I think something that would be also really cool is to change these numbers to 360 so that it does full rotation. And so what you can do here is add like another series of if statements saying that, um, if the tone, is, if the position is greater than, let's say, 200, because now it's going higher than 360, um, let's produce the tone to 400. So, actually what's going to happen is it's going to keep going around, and then it, once, since this number is 360, it's going to go all the way around. See, so now it reached... Now it's reached 238. So you can play around with these values. Um, yeah, so yeah, play around with these values, experiment, and then um, we'll hop into the next project. All right, so just before I end this video, all I wanna say is make sure to answer the poll or like kind of the question that I have on my channel um, asking what song you would like to see made with the Arduino. Um, so yeah, just check that out. Um, maybe leave a comment, um, definitely subscribe, leave a like, and if we get more than five likes on this video, then I'll do the most popular song voted. So really hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe in the future, we're going to do something more sophisticated with the servo motor and using like, um, the 3d printer and maybe creating like a more complex mechanism so um just to look out for that in the future but um for now i really hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to like and subscribe for my weekly uploads and thank you so much for watching the video